Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the index and match functions to do an, an approximate match. So what is an approximate match? It's probably very common when you're trying to look up uh, sales commissions or you're looking up the tax rate in a tax table. In this example, we're going to try to look up sales commissions. Let's say what, that we have our salespeople and they sold this quantity of amount of things. And based on the quantity, we want to find out what percentage we want to give them for a sales commission. So for example, we have 748. 748, there, there's not an exact match, right? But anything that supposedly is 500 over, that person should get 80%. Salesperson two, they sold 10 items. There's not really anything here that says 10 items, but in this particular table, what we want to say is anything between one and 99, that person's going to get 10%. So how does that actually work? What we're going to do is we're going to use the index and match function to do that for us. So let's put our percentage commission here. I'll just title that percentage uh, commission. I'll uh, just with C-O-M. So let's get into our formula. We're going to type equal index and it's going to return a value reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column given a range. In this instance, we're only going to use the row. So I will open parentheses in the array. This is the array that we want to bring back the values from. So we want to bring back the values from percentage. So these four cells, one, two, first, sec first second, third, fourth. Now, I need to press F4 to lock that in because I'm going to copy the formula down and I want to keep those references when it gets, when it gets copied down. H2 to H5 should always stay the same. The row number now is we're going to use the match function. Match, double click that, and we're going to match a uh, lookup value. We're going to look up this quantity value and we're going to look it up based on the lookup array, which is our quantity over here. So it's going to look up 748 and find the closest match to that here. Also need to press the F4 key to lock that in because as I copy it down, I want to stay that I want that range to stay the same G2 to the G5. Comma, what is my match type? I'm going to use the less than. Uh, use one, not zero, not negative one, but one. And it's going to find the largest value that is less than or equal to the lookup value. So it's going to look at 748 and it's, it's going to look at the largest value that is less than or equal to 748. Well, there's nothing that is equal to 748, but 500 is less than 748. So it's going to bring back the position of four. And four is the fourth position in this row. One, two, three, four. So I'll press one, close parentheses, press enter. And Excel was smart enough or nice enough to tell me that I needed another closing parentheses here. I'll accept this correction, click yes. And now we have 0.8%. Now, if we wanted to go through what Excel was actually doing, we can actually bring up the formula evaluator. So I'll go into formula and go to evaluate formula. And this is going to tell you what it's exactly doing as I go through the different steps. So it's going to go through match and it's going to look at cell B2, which is here. It's going to bring back 748. And it's going to try to match 748 with G2 and G5, G2 to G5 here, right? And it's going to find that it found a match at the fourth row. One, two, three, four. And that's why it brings that back to number four. And so it's going to use that number four as a placeholder to look at the range H2 to H5, H2 to A5, and bring back the fourth row in there. So one, two, three, four, which is 0.8. And that's what the index and match function is doing when it's going through all these different steps. So that's what it's doing. If I double click the fill handle here, it's going to copy that formula down and you'll see that it has given us our approximate matches. So we have salesperson two here with a quantity of 10 and it's not, it's going to look at this table and it's, it's going to say it's greater than one. It's going to look at here, but it said it's going to be less than one. It's going to be less than a hundred. So it's going to go back and bring back 0.1, which is that 0.1 there. The same for the other values here. It will bring back the corresponding approximate match lookups here. So that's how you can use the index and match function to perform an approximate match. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.